Ladies and gentlemen, he cannot play the guitar very well. It's Jim Boja. I was just messing around. Just messing around. Uh, Jim, uh, in addition to his own fantastic uh, stuff, J Jim also uh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is involved. Uh, he subs sometimes uh, uh, for members of a group called the Fat Foe. Uh, it was started by a couple of really fantastic musicians. It's a it's a Beatles cover band. Um, but they, it's not like they wear wigs and go, ooh, like that. It's not a, that's, that's lame. That's lame. It's not a Beatles experience. It's, it's the Beatles music, and they, they, they work incredibly hard to play Beatles songs in a way that sounds exactly like Beatles songs, and it's kind of remarkable. Uh, and I'm very jealous that you get to do that. It it's like. an amazing thing to do, and I'm very glad that people don't realize, since we struggle so hard to make it sound exactly like the record, they could save themselves about like 75 bucks a pop. Or just listen to the record. Listen to the record. <laughs> That's a great point. You're basically undermining the purpose of the live show. Yes, I mean, the live show sound exactly like the record. Well, just don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> but can I just say, when we were figuring out what tune we were going to do, which is exciting, Christian and I had the same exact experience when Joko told us what it was. Can I show you what it was? Yeah. Holy fuck! Uh, this is uh, Jim Bojo. Why don't, why don't you uh, let him know what the song is and what it, what it means to you? This song changed my life uh, when it first came out, and uh, about 20 minutes ago as well. It continues to change my life. This is a song that happened in the 70s, uh, and in the 70s, lyrics did not have to make actual sense. <laughs> And I think that that is a lost art. Mm -hmm. I think there are too many songs now that actually say something and mean something. This song does not. <laughs> All right. Amen. Sure.
Maybe stay over here instead.